Day two started with a record-setting performance by Omaha's Sammy Spenner in the heptathlon as the junior, who is ranked second in the country, cruised to a new Summit League championship record in the eight-event competition. The decathlon saw North Dakota State's Ryan Jensen pace the field by over 200 points, easily picking up his first Summit League decathlon crown. The women's high jump saw two competitors, South Dakota's Megan Gleaser and Kathy Lee Laidley of Omaha, each clearing 5 feet 11 and a half inches, a new Summit League record with Gleaser taking the title because of fewer misses. In the men's high jump, it was Western Illinois' Jamario Taylor who took the individual crown, clearing a height of 6 feet 11 and a half inches. In the shot put, Western Illinois' Dana LaRue topped IPFW's Rachel Dinkoff with a throw of 52 feet 4 and a half inches to 48 feet 3 and a half inches for Dinkoff. In the women's long jump, it was a familiar face to the field events of the championships as Omaha's Sammy Spenner leaped to a distance of 20 feet 9 inches, winning by over 5 inches over teammate Kathy Lee Laidley. In the men's long jump, it was the Kansas City duo of Richard McCoy and D.C. Aconta who leaped to distances of 24 feet 3 inches and 24 feet 1 inch, respectively. The last scoring event of the day, the steeplechase, saw Kansas City's Courtney Frerich set a new Summit League championship record with a time of 10 minutes, 15.79 seconds, winning by over 23 seconds. In the men's steeplechase, it was South Dakota's Jeff Mettler, who took first by 8 seconds in a time of 9 minutes, 5 0.66. In the men's shot put, South Dakota's Kyle McElry won the event handedly, missing a league record by 14 centimeters.